Hello, Christian Church in Ohio, Disciples of Christ. I'm Alan Harris, your regional pastor and president. Thank you so much for taking a moment to listen to me today. I want to talk about something that is uh, very present in our uh, church life uh, and not always talked about and sometimes even looked down upon. And you might have figured out I'm talking about annual yearbook reporting. Yes, I was a local church pastor long enough, almost 30 years, to know that uh, yearbook reporting isn't always looked upon with the greatest joy and <laughs> excitement. Um, it can be work, quite frankly, and particularly if you haven't been keeping data throughout the year, it's a bit to get your hands on all those things. But I want to talk a little bit today about how very important this is, not for me so much, not for the Christian Church Disciples of Christ general offices, but for you and for how we do mission and ministry together. Now, I'm old enough to remember those days when we had the pink forms. Yes, remember those? Remember when it was just pink forms that came in the mail and, and, and you looked forward to them? No, no, we didn't do that. But anyway, you looked for them. And they had your PIN number and they had all the data put in and you had to mark out what was incorrect and fill in what was correct. And then you put it in an envelope and, and mailed it back. Um, I am definitely old enough to remember those days. We, we moved to a period of time where we had uh, input, uh, a digital input uh, on the computer in a, in a database. Um, we did that for a while too, and you could kind of do both. Well, we're in a new world now, and I want to say, thankfully so, um, I'm sure that you have become acquainted with Alex. Alex is Data for Disciples. It's a little tongue-in-cheek on some, some popular products uh, that use a simple name. And of course, it's a short for Alexander Campbell, uh, one of our founders. But I am really excited that Alex exists now and that we're working to make it better and better. I am a little sad that it got rolled out about the time that, oh, say, a global pandemic uh, was coming upon our world. But that should not make us hesitate to understand how important it is and how important Alex is to our church and how important our reporting accurate data is to Alex. One of the things that I talk a lot about when I talk about our magnificent general minister and president, the Reverend Teresa Horde Owens, is that she has a multiplicity of uh, backgrounds and uh, skill sets and talents and perspectives. She's not just um, a a denominational executive, although she's doing that exceptionally well. Uh, she's not just a local church pastor with a local church pastor's heart. She is that, definitely. She's not just a person who understands the academic world, having served at the University of Chicago Divinity School, but she also comes to us from the business world. And not just any business world, but a business world in which she understood how data could inform an organization's life and make it better. And so I think that is part of why she has helped shape and help promote uh, Alex, uh, Data for Disciples. And so I'm thrilled that she brings that perspective. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of uh, Alex database, as well as the annual yearbook reporting. First and foremost, the yearbook reports that you are asked to fill out online now help improve connection and communication. And any human being on the planet understands the power and importance of, of real human connection and accurate and ample communication. And one of the things when you fill out that 
uh, uh, yearbook report, you help make sure that all the wires are connected correctly. I can't tell you how many times um, I realized when I was filling out those pink pages, oh, I didn't tell anybody that we had a new uh, music director or that we, we updated our website address or we're not using that phone line anymore or we don't have a fax anymore. Well, this is the moment in each year that we get to tell uh, uh, the regional church and the general church what our, uh, our connections are. And I will tell you, I also hope that it will help the local congregation think in a comprehensive way about your communication strategy and, 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 you, and your connections. Because maybe as you're filling out the Alex report, you go, oh, wait a minute, we didn't change that email address on our website. Or, or maybe, maybe we didn't um, uh, put the new uh, website on our Facebook page. So Alex will help us improve connections and communications at every facet of the church's life. We make sure in the regional church office here in the Christian Church in Ohio to look at every single form. We look at everything you write on those forms, but we especially look at the data, the connections, the, um, the contact information to make sure we have it right. The last thing you want us to do is, is to not communicate with you because we have an old uh, phone number or an old email address. So first and foremost, the Alex Data for Disciples improves communication and connections. That right there should be enough to fill out that form. Uh, and, and, and hit submit. But there are some other things that are equally important. And these are particularly helpful now that we have not just the static data collection that we had before, whether it was through paper or online, but now Alex is looking at the big picture. And we can look at trends. What is happening in our churches? And I don't think it's too much to say that in the last two years, the 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 um, challenges that have challenges that have come a, across the church may have been some challenges we might have been able to forecast if we had been able to look at the data over the years. That's what Alex is going to be able to do in a snapshot. Now, sure, you could go to your paper yearbooks and pull them off the, the shelf one by one and look at trends. Maybe, maybe you've done that in your local congregation. It's hard enough with just one, one congregation. Imagine trying to look at the entire denomination just through pulling down paper yearbook reports. But now, it will be all in one place. And we can look at trends. I know the Office of General Minister and President is trying to put in previous years. They have some for our, our congregations. And we can look at past trends. But really, we're hoping that the data that we collect right now, the yearbook report that you're working on, is good quality data so that we can forecast for the future. We can look at trends. Now, I don't take every single thing that the business or corporate world does and try to impose it upon the church. The church is the church and has a unique culture and certainly a unique mission. But there are some things that we can learn from um, the corporate world so that we can do them better. And one of those is having good quality data and looking at that data and uh, imagining a future uh, of the church. And that's the next point I want to make. We don't just look at this data like mathematical nerds do, which I love mathematical nerds. They're really, really important in our world. Um, but we look at this data because we want to imagine the future that God has for us. I love that that's the theme that Reverend Teresa Hort Owens has given us. Imagine God's future. Uh, and and, and you, 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 you can imagine God's future without any facts or data or information in front of you. But how much better will our imagining be if we know really what is right now and what has been so that we can 
look to the future. And, and it's not just imagining things, it's imagining mission and ministry. I truly believe that the church of the future is going to look so completely different than it does today. Uh, but I don't know what that future is going to be. But a way to, to get a hint is to have good data now so that we can imagine God's future for us, uh, for mission and ministry in the future. So when you are inputting that data, please don't think of it as some bureaucratic necessity uh, that you have to go through to somehow please the gods of the region or the gods of the general church. What you're doing is you're giving all of us information that we can look at with a Bible in one hand, <laughs> with our experience brought to it, and with good quality data and lots and lots of prayer. And then maybe we can make some decisions that will help the Christian church, disciples of Christ, and indeed all of Christ's church, be healthier and stronger and more prepared for what the future holds. And and I, let me emphasize then again the importance of uh, yearbook reporting and uh, uh, Alex's data for disciples. It improves connection and communication. It helps us understand trends. It helps us all imagine together our future. And it helps us plan mission and ministry uh, for the future. But all of this is done with excellence in mind. Um, and that's one of the things that has really empowered me uh, in the church to, to encourage us not to do things, especially like yearbook reporting, kind of um, haphazardly or, or, or at the end of the day with not our best selves at the table, but to really bring our finest selves because I think that is what God calls us to. One of my favorite scriptures since becoming a, a, um, a local church pastor and now a regional minister is uh, from Philippians, Philippians 4, 8, that, that beautiful um, uh, epistle uh, written to this, this church at Philippi. Uh, and it's filled with lots of wonderful things. But the thing that really stands out for me when I'm talking about doing mission and ministry with excellence in the church, of course, is uh, chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I know that's a tall order, but it is a call from God for us to do things excellently and to do them so that they are worthy of praise. I would like to invite you to do that with your yearbook reporting this year and in the future. Luckily, you don't have to do this alone. If you have gone to the database at Alex and logged in and uh, your eyes glaze over and you're confused, thankfully there are some great resources. Uh, if you haven't gone to the disciples.org website uh, to their Alex resource page, they have really done a great job of bringing more and more resources, including some tutorial videos uh, uh, out so that you can be helped um, step by step. So you'll go to www.disciples.org forward slash Alex, A-L-E-X, and you'll see lots of resources there. Of course, if you really get in a bind, don't hesitate to call the regional church office. And our regional administrator, Jenny Stoddard Bernard, will gladly work with you on trying to get your yearbook report done. We need all of them done by February 28th. I know that's soon, but it's really important to do that. We will review them 
And then if we see any, um, you know, obvious errors, we all make mistakes, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, myself included, uh, we'll ping that uh, and have you look it over and we'll note what you might need to look at. Um, but um, more than anything, then uh, we will then uh, authorize that to be part of the yearbook report. So thank you for taking time and listening to me. And I do hope that you will celebrate with me uh, our wonderful resource that we have for mission and ministry in the Christian Church Disciples of Christ in the United States and Canada. And that is the Alex Data for Disciples. So thank you. God bless and take care.